Now, if you've not been to Drummond Castle Gardens in Perthshire, they may still look familiar from appearing in TV shows and films such as Outlander and Rob Roy. And did you know, Laura, that Queen Victoria even planted some copper beech trees here? I did not hark at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the head gardener tells us a story about the estate and how her life has been shaped by these spectacular grounds. <laughs> We have a lot to see and do for all the family, from young to old, and we would love them to come here and enjoy looking at the gardens. The peace, the tranquility is one of the best things. And it just, if you've had a bad day and you're feeling angry, this just makes you feel so much at ease, at peace, and wandering about in the quiet, tranquil setting. My dad was the head gamekeeper on the estate um, latterly, but when he moved here in February 1966, I was six months old. So I've been here, Drummond Estate is my life and these gardens behind me is what I live for. The gardens were designed in 1630 the sundial is the centrepiece in the garden and it was built by master stonemason John Millen to Charles I. And from that radiating outwards, they fitted in the St Andrew's cross on the Scottish flag. The oldest part of the castle is what we call the keep and it was built in 1490. And that was the stronghold for the Drummonds. And then, when Queen Victoria was here, we had the Victorian part built on and she planted a couple of copper beech in the garden, one of which sadly blew down in the storms of 2012, but we still have one standing there. See something when Outlander came here to the gardens, I was involved quite heavily with them, to the stage that even my car was dismantled and made up into the carriage for them to fill them out through for the park to imitate the park in Versailles. But I was fortunate enough to get my photograph taken with Jamie, and he is a lovely chap. Um, met Catherine as well, and got talking to a lot of the cast and a lot of the production. We love having filming here because it gives us a change in the gardens to what's going on. But the good thing about it, when they put it on a map and you have all the followers, especially the Outlander followers, they are still coming today to see this. The garden I've grown up in, I've um, played in it, I've worked in it and worked my life through to head gardener and now it feels like it's mine and it's so heartwarming to be here and privileged to be looking after this. Mm -hmm. 